Surfer SEO released their AI last week and they've received a lot of appraisal, but I wanted to put it through my own test to see the results. Is it really worth paying 29 times more per article than other AI copywriting tools? They're running on GPT-4, the newest model from OpenAI. So I have big expectations, especially also with the price point they're at. So let's get into it. So I started by signing up for the light plan at $29 per month. And this gives me access to the keyword research module and three content audits per month. So it is very limited and that's overall the principle of Surfer. Everything you want, you have to pay extra for unless you're at the max plan at 299 US dollars. For instance, if I want a site audit, I have to pay 49 US dollars per month. If I want access to the SERP analyzer, it's 29 US dollars per month. And even the grow flow is $9 per month extra. And this is not part of my subscription. But I wanted to test the AI that Surfer SEO has released. So let's get into that. So I started with the long tail keyword, how to export from Figma into Webflow. And it took around four minutes to get from that I entered the keyword until I had an outline from Surfer SEO. It was a little bit slow, but there's nothing crucial about it. It's still a lot faster than if I had to sit manually and go through each website. But the thing that happens in these four minutes is that Surfer goes into the keyword on Google, scrapes the top 10, and then each of the results get a content score based on Surfer's NLP parameters in this case. This means that you can pick the websites you want to compare your content to and the websites that you want your content to be inspired by. Automatically, Surfer picks the best four or five websites depending on how high the content score is. But you can easily deselect some of them and select some new ones if that's what you want to do. And then based on that, you'll get the outline. Just so we have a comparison point, my outline would start with a short intro establishing some type of authority, then some key takeaways from the entire article, the two methods on how you solve this issue because there are two ways of doing it, and then a wrap up where you wrap the entire article up and maybe give it an answer or two down there as well. But now let's look into how Surfer made the outline. So Surfer SEO's outline is very different from mine. They start with an introduction and then they start on a very low level explaining both Webflow and Figma. And then they dive into the manual method. So they only take one of the methods into consideration when building this article. And then they end with a wrap up. So their outline compared to mine is entirely different. I will still prefer to use my outline because it gives two methods on how to solve it. Some wants to do it manually, other wants to do a plugin. So that's why I feel that my outline solves the query better than Surfer's outline. With the outline ready, I'm not going to change anything. I will continue to work with Surfer how it's supposed to be used. And that is by one click articles. And that's how it's promoted everywhere. So I'll just generate the article with this outline ready. I could change the outline and get a better result in the end, but let's start with this. And overall, the thing about Surfer, as mentioned, they use GPT-4, but they use GPT-4 32K token. That means that they can take up to 32K tokens in the output as well. And this is an entirely new model from OpenAI. And it's not everyone who has access to this. So again, I expect great things to come out of this. Another thing about GPT-4 is that it's much more expensive to use than GPT-3.5. In fact, it's five times more expensive that's also part of why the price is $29 per article compared to if they were using GPT 3.5, but you do also get better results. But generating the entire article took around eight minutes, so it's not the fastest generator I have tested. I also tested Koala Writer, for instance, and they generated the entire article in less than two minutes. But again, it's not a crucial thing. It's still a lot faster than if I had to write it myself. I'll share a link to the article in the description so you can also go in and check it out and see what you think. But now let me try and break down the article. If we start with the introduction, I feel it is not that bad, but it's too broad. It doesn't create any authority. It explains a little bit about what we can expect in the article, but not so much in detail that you get an understanding about it. And to begin with, the things that I like about the article is definitely the key takeaways or the short summary. 
when it comes to these type of articles, it's all about giving the answer fast to the reader so they get a great experience. And a short summary is giving the answer in a fast, responsive way so they get the answer and they can move on to whatever it is they need. And if they have more questions and they want a more detailed answer, then they can dive down in the article. Another thing I really like is that Surfer generates an FAQ section. So they scrape again, Google for all the questions asked on this specific search term where it makes sense, of course, and then they build an FAQ section. But sometimes based on my testing, the question has been a little bit duplicate, both in the FAQ section isolated, but also part of the article where often the questions are just answered in the article already. So it's unnecessary to add it as an FAQ section. Furthermore, then it already from the get go optimized the entire article to hit the perfect NLP score. It also adjusts the word count to be right in where it's supposed to be. It suggests images. And this is a great thing because you need to use images in your blog post, but there's no logic behind it. It's just suggesting to add an image after each H2. But just the fact that it's there is definitely super helpful. Now, some of the things that I dislike are especially the time of generating the article. It took me eight minutes to generate a 2000 word article. 12 minutes to generate 3000 words. So overall you need to expect every 1000 words you want generated, it takes four minutes. Furthermore, then there were no outbound links or internal links and the internal links I completely understand. I haven't seen any tools solve this very well unless it's a plugin you install on your website. For the outbound links, I have seen Coela Rider do it very well so they could get inspired from that. Lastly, then it didn't generate any tables either. And again, I've seen with Quayla Rider that this is possible to generate them and even format it. And another thing is that it's not adding any experience and experience is what creates authority within an article. It's not saying that I did X and experience Y. And of course it can't do that because it doesn't know what I have experienced. And that's the overall thing about AI copywriting. We have to add our own experience. We can't just copy and paste entire content, publish on a website, and then experience long-term value. You will maybe see a spike in the, in the beginning where you add your article, but in the end, it will just crash down because it will be overtaken by other type of content unless you add your experience that creates a better value for the entire article. What I could do if I were on a more premium plan is to export it directly into WordPress, but I'm on the light plan and it's not part of it. But now to the question, is this article really worth 29 US dollars? I will say if I compare it to if I got a low quality content writer to write this article, it's definitely worth it, but that's not the comparison point. The comparison point is to compare it to other AI copywriting tools. And here I will say Phrase and Coela Writers are the closest competitors and Coela Writer beats Surfer on these types of info articles because Coela adds tables. They overall also run on GPT-4 and then they add outbound links. And overall I have experienced a better quality of content. And the best part of Coela Writer is that it costs less than $5 to generate an entire article. And this includes using GPT-4 and their AI SEO optimized way of doing articles. Another way is using Phrase. And the thing about Phrase is that even though they're running on GPT 3.5, so it's not a completely fair comparison, then you get unlimited AI for only 35 US dollars. So the more articles you generate, the cheaper it is per article. And that's why with Phrase, if you just generate 35 articles per month, Surfer is in theory 29 times more expensive than Phrase and I have experienced great results with Phrase and it's my go-to both for NLP editing and for generating content and articles in general. The thing about Coelho Writer is that it's definitely the best for generating content for both info articles and for best X for Y, for instance, best headsets for freelancers. But the thing about Coelho Writer is that they don't have an LLP editor. So you will need a tool like Surfer or Phrase to optimize your content further, even though Coelho Writer does this for you already. By the way, I'm working on a comparison video between Phrase, Coelho Writer and Surfer SEO, where we'll go in depth with each of the different tools. So remember to subscribe so you won't miss that video. But the overall thing about Surfer SEO is that it's made for companies with large budgets who want to create info articles in bulk. Because 
overall the quality of Surfer SEO is great and they have the NLP editor and the more you scale up, the more functionality you get with Surfer SEO. If you only want the content part, then I'll have to go with Quayla Writer and recommend that any day of the week. They do a fantastic job of generating content, both info articles and best articles, you know, where you compare a bunch of products to each other. But if you want to up your SEO game, then you'll definitely need to run an SEO competitor research. It is super simple and you can see how you do it right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.